lines are the most frequently used and commonly used objects and you can see these objects almost everywhere in an AutoCAD drawing. In this video, I'll deal with different methods to construct lines in AutoCAD. Before creating lines, I would like to deactivate all settings in the status bar toggles. So I'll just deactivate a grid, a dynamic mode and other settings over here. And now I'll go to the customization button and activate the coordinates. When I move the mouse, you can see two coordinate values getting dynamically changed. This is nothing but X and Y coordinate of the cursor location. Now I'll click on the line command in the draw panel. Software is prompting for the first point. I can define this first point in a variety of ways, but I'll just left click my mouse to define the first point. Now you can see a rubber band line stretching from the first point and it is asking for the next point. Again, I'll left click to define the next point. These coordinate locations you can see in the status bar. Now I'll just pick some random points to define the next segments. I can undo the previous segment if I want using the undo option in the line command. Now I'll click to define few more points and I'll click on close to go out of the line command. Now I have got an irregular polygon. Alternatively, you can also create lines by typing the letter L using the keyboard. Now you will get the same prompt sequence. And I'll just give enter to go out of the line command. But you can be productive with lines only if you could uh, create uh, lines at uh, specific locations at predefined dimensions. By creating the simple figure of the outline of a house, you will learn the procedure to create lines at uh, specific locations, dimensions and angles. I'll go back to the previous file and I'll select all these objects and hit erase to get rid of them. I have incorporated dimensions in this figure. And when you look at the dimensions, you can see that the maximum dimension is 1200 and all the values are given in centimeters. So I'll go back to my file, click on application button, drawing utilities and I'll go to units command and I'll set my the linear measurement to decimal, decimal precision to uh, two places and I'll change the insertion scale to centimeters and I'll give OK. Now I should set my limits. So I'll give limits command. At the lower left, I'll give 0, 0, because there is no negative values in this figure. Now I should set the upper right corner. Since the maximum dimension to be plotted is 1200, I should give upper right a value which is above 1200. So let's give it as 1500, 1500. Now I should give a zoom all to bring the limit to the screen. I'll give zoom and all. Next, I'll go to line command. When I'm asked to specify the start point, I'll give 0, 0, because I want the line to start exactly from the origin point. Such method of point entry is called absolute coordinate method, in which you define a point precisely using its X and Y coordinate. I'll just hold down the scroll button or the mouse and I'll simply drag it upward to pan the display. Now you can see that point clearly. Next, I want to draw a line 1200 units rightward. For that, I'll activate the ortho mode. In AutoCAD, when the ortho mode is on, the cursor moves only in the horizontal and in the vertical direction and its free movement is restricted. But once you turn it off, you can see that it can move freely. Now ortho mode can also be activated by pressing the F8 function key. Now I'll give the value 1200. Now AutoCAD has drawn a line in the direction of the cursor through the distance of 1200 units. Next I'll draw another vertical line in the upward direction through a distance of 300 units. So I'll keep my cursor in the upward direction. Since the ortho mode is on, it will move only in the vertical direction. Then I'll type the distance 300. Now this line has got a length of 300 units. Now I'll just give enter to go out of the line command. Next, I'll activate this button in the status bar. It is called dynamic mode. Now I want to repeat the line command. So just right click and click on repeat line. And you can start from this endpoint. When I take my cursor onto this endpoint, you will get a tooltip that it is an endpoint. That's because we have an OSNAP button in the status bar which is on. We will talk more about OSNAP in the coming videos and I'll just make a click. Now I'll disable the ortho and the cursor can move freely in all directions. But now you will see two values getting dynamically changed. The length of the line is getting updated and the inclination of this line segment with the horizontal or with the x-axis is getting updated. I want to draw the next line segment which is at 1200 units. So I'll type the value 1200. 
I want that line to be drawn in the leftward direction and I want to control the angle. So I'll just hit the tab key. Now you can edit the angle. Now you can see that the angle is changing from 0 to 90 when it is vertical to 180 when it is leftward. Since I want to move in the leftward direction, I can give an angle of 180 degrees. Now this line has got a length of 1200 units and it is drawn in the leftward direction. The next segment has got a length of 300 units and it is drawn straight down. So the angle is 90 degrees. Since the ortho is not on, along with the distance, you should also specify the angle. So I'll give the distance 300 and I press the tab key to edit the angular value and I'll give the angle as 90 degrees. You can see that the angle starts from 0 and it increases to 90 if it is vertical and when it is leftward it is 180 and in the clockwise direction it starts from 0 and when it is down below it is 90 and when it is leftward it's 180 so you should give an angular value of 90 degree next we should draw a vertical line at a distance of 350 units from this origin point so i'll right click and repeat line when i'm asked to give the first point i'll give 350 comma 0 i can give that value in absolute coordinates so i'll give 350 you can either give comma or you can press tab then i'll give 0 so I have started exactly from that point. It should be a vertical line. So I can turn on the ortho mode by pressing the F8 function key. Then I'll type 300. Now just give an enter to go out of the line command. So that line is made. Next we will create the outline of the door. And I should start from this particular end point. And it is given that this point is at a distance of 125 units from the origin. So I can start from that point. Then I'll go straight up 210 units then 100 units rightward and 200 units downward. So let's do that. I'll right click a repeat line. When I'm asked to give the first point, I'll give 125 comma zero in absolute coordinates. I have started from that point. You don't need a dynamic input for the time being. So I'll just disable it. I can straight away give the values. And the height is 210. And rightward, I should move 100 units. And downward again 210. So I've completed it. Next, I'll create the outline of this window. If I want to start from this point, I should find out the coordinate of this point. And this point is at the same height as that of the door. So the Y coordinate is 210 and the X coordinate is 350 plus 125, which is 475. So if you give 475 comma 210, you can locate this point. Then you can go 150 rightward, 150 downward, again 150 leftward, and you can close it. I'll right click a repeat line. At the first point prompt, I'll give 475 comma 210. Rightward 150, downward 150, leftward 150. And I'll close it. Next, I'll create the outline of this window. These two windows are having the same dimensions, but I should locate this point to start with. You know that this distance is 125. So this point will have the X coordinate equal to 1200 minus 125 which is 1075. So the coordinate of this point is 1075 comma 210, then 150, 150, 150, close. Right click, repeat line, 1075 comma 210. Started from that point, now 150 down, 150 leftward, 150 upward, and you can click on close to close it. Now you should make sure that your ortho mode is on. That is why it is easy for you to move in the horizontal as well as in the vertical directions. Next, I'll create the outline of this roof. For that, I'll start from this end point. To locate this point, you can either directly go and take this end point or else you can give coordinates to get it. You know that since the origin is here, the X coordinate of this point is 0 and the Y coordinate is 300, which is this height. So I'll start from 0, 0,300. Then I should draw an inclined line at 45 degrees with respect to horizontal. In the counterclockwise direction, this angle is taken. And the length of this line is 332.34, which is given here. It is also inclined at 45 degrees with respect to horizontal, but in the clockwise direction. Once you reach here, you can always close to complete this triangle. Before I draw lines, I'll change the color. For that, I can use properties palette. You can access the properties palette from the view menu. Just click on properties to get it. Or else you can activate the palette from the quick access toolbar. Since so the properties is already active here and I can directly go and take properties from here or else you have a shortcut which is control one. And this is a preferred method to get the properties palette. 
and this palette will let you change the properties are related with objects such as color, line type, line weight, etc. We'll talk more about properties in another video. Now, I'll change my color to a different color. So I'll just click here to get the color pop-up and I'll click on select color and I'll choose this particular color. This color has got a color number of 21. You can see it there. Just give OK and close the palette. I'll right click repeat line and I can directly go and take this endpoint since the OSNAP button is on here. I'll just make a click here, keep the cursor in the leftward direction and I can give the value 60. Now I'll activate the dynamic input and I'll give 332.34 as the distance, press tab and I'll give 45 degree as the angle. Now I've got the line drawn. I'll keep the cursor in this direction and I'll type 332.34 as the distance. I'll press tab and 45 degree as the angle and enter. So this line is drawn. Now I can just give a close to complete this triangle. Next I'll draw a line from this endpoint 60 in this direction and draw another line with 332.34 as a distance then I'll connect with this endpoint. So right click line, I'll start from this point so I can turn off the dynamic input and I'll activate the ortho. I'll keep the cursor in this direction and type 60. It is moving in the horizontal and vertical directions so I must turn off the ortho mode now I want to draw an inclined line at 45 degrees. For that I'll activate another mode in AutoCAD status bar that is called Polar Tracking. Once you activate Polar Tracking, your cursor snaps at regular angular increments or the cursor stops temporarily at predefined angular increments. Where do you define these angular increments? Just click on the small arrow at the Polar Tracking button and you can see the predefined angular incremental settings. You have uh, 90, 180, 270, it is just like ortho and 45, 90, 135, 30, 60, 90, likewise you have various predefined increments. But if you want you can set your own increments, we will see that later. So this is my required increment 45, 90. So I will keep the cursor at an angle of 45 degree. Now you can directly type the distance which is 332.34. Now I can connect with this endpoint. I should draw another line like this for that. You can just click on this line, you will get certain points. These points are called grip points or grips. You can take the cursor onto any of those grips and you just make a click to activate that grip. Now that grip is said to be a hot grip. Now you move the cursor and you connect it with this end point. Now I have stretched that line based on that grip point. Okay, we'll have another video on grips wherein we will cover this concept exclusively. So we have covered almost all methods to draw lines in AutoCAD. The fully dimensioned figure is given along with this video. Please download this figure and make a try.